All right, another day. Another bit of XCOM. Another day at the coal face. Grand in a way. Let's, let's take stock. So, seven contacts made by July, which for me is obviously amazing. I need to get some lads infiltrating a covert action to increase the relationship with uh, one of the... Uh, right, so these bad guys are the chosen, so what do I call my... Well, whatever, you know what I mean. New Chile, the... Hmm, vigilance of five already, but strength only one, which I'm quite pleased about. And hopefully we're going to stop this supply raid now from going through. Okay. Let's do it. So this is another four-man... Uh, another four-man supply raid. The last one was also four-man. And... Our skirmisher got uh, wounded, but under the circumstances, I was quite happy with that result. We need to do something very One similar in this mission. Sent word of an advent troop transport they managed to disable in this area, and the aliens have apparently struggled to get it moving again. This is our chance to strike. Anything we can recover from that transport will be a boost to our efforts. Move in and secure the surrounding area. Eliminate all hostile contacts with extreme prejudice. I can do extreme prejudice, and right off the bat, uh, I'm thinking that this layout is a bit more favorable for us. If I can have Arnie sitting up here, taking height advantage pot shots with his elite stock, we're gonna, it's, it's going to be money. And we've got Waldo, who has spent a fair amount of time wounded. I mean, look, he's only a sergeant. So we've got to get those numbers up, Waldo. Those are rookie numbers. Moving to designated coordinates. I still keep thinking, I dare say, fantasizing about what he's going to be like if I can get him to Master Sergeant. And I don't see why I wouldn't really be able to, guy with a plan. given that we've given okay, him an ELS. Rack him up. Rack him up, rack him up, rack him up. Okay, so Viper, Naga, Stun Lancer Trooper. Okay, so what is okay, so best case scenario, wildest dream. Will do. This pod comes towards us. And I'm I able to open up. Okay, cool. I need to move back here now. As I was saying about wildest dream, best possible case scenario. Okay. That pod of snakes comes towards us and we can open up with a um, trench gun shot. To hit all of them. Sergeant, Guardsman, Grenadier, Heavy Gunner. That's a bit more scary. The Grenadier obviously is a big, 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 big threat. I think the Grenadiers throw flame grenades. I might actually want to pull back a little. On my way. Eyes on a hostile patrol. Okay, so 12 enemies. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is all of them. And there's a lot of good, good, good information for me. Give me a call when you want to start taking, taking things, things a little, a little more, more seriously. seriously. Um, this is going to require a lot of patience, I think, because I need these pods to patrol away from each other. In the current setup, I'm going to have to be fighting all 12 okay, in the same now. turn, which obviously is a no-no. we have here is even if somehow these ones patrol towards us and we get a big trench gun opening shot still then got the rest of the lads right here potentially I need to keep an eye on this pod if this pod keeps patrolling this way maybe I need to fall everybody back and engage around here take that pod and then re-establish the sniper up here and push through this way Scanning. 
Regardless, this is going to be a few turns now of just observing patrol Move patterns. Designated position. Man, I tell you, if Waldo already had that multiple overwatch, it would make things a lot easier, but we're not there yet. Advanced Officer Mech Sergeant is also a pretty scary pod, but that Naga concerns me the most. Now he has a pod walking towards us as I actually want it. Oh my god, can you imagine what a technical could have done now? is if I take this oh, if I keep on here on the next turn we get revealed there um one two three four so we're gonna get revealed on the next turn I think I have to take this six to eleven with a chance not a great chance but a chance I could get five kills here I mean 89 to hit, 82 to hit, 78, 69, 68. Um, not Overwatch, because obviously the Governor needs to pick off a survivor. Same thing with uh, Waldo. It's such a pity he doesn't have Executioner already. And then Correa can move up and maybe Trench Gun and finish some more lads. But Line of Sight here is going to be the big problem. The other pod is right here. The thing is, if I wait now, this pod moves, this one reveals us on the next turn, then we get one, two, two shotgun shot, overwatch shots, a mag rifle overwatch shot, and conceivably a, we get four overwatch shots, and then my turn. But my concern is then that this pod moves to where they can see us, and then hold, I think this is the better option. Four out of five killed. Completely missed the Viper. Uh, the Grenadier is a must die. Can take a 44 and a 64 on the Viper. I think Diamond is going to have to move to the right. I think Diamond needs to run and gun here and take out that Grenadier. I'm the most concerned about that flame grenade from the Grenadier. And then Arnie must take out the heavy gunner. So then it's down to Waldo. Or Waldo could cheeky flank on the snake. I think that's a better option because I mean the snake is so close it's gonna easily slither into a flank on other people anyway the crit chance so six to ten would need to okay, I'll go. crit to kill the snake which obviously is unlikely it's so clutch so fucking clutch and now I need to have Miguel, run and gun. Need to figure out how far can I go right. No. Just trying to take a very wide, wide run away from that other pod. Did I engage run and gun? I did. I'm all over it. If this aggroes the other pod, we are so fucked. My concern here for the governor is that this pod's going to be on yellow alert when they now pop into us. If he gets this kill, I think. Oh, I'm 91 and he fucking misses it! Oh, Arnie. Dude. 
And then a nearly max damage hit straight through high cover. Very nice. There goes Waldo straight back into the... Come on, 240%. Come on. Ugh. And that was actually half cover, but... Oh, damn it. You so started Tony, it. That fucking 90% miss has now caused a wound. I think I need to shoot and then walk fire. The thing is, both of my assault troopers are wounded, but like the close range half cover shot. Could actually be enough to take him out. Absolutely. I might have winged him. That was a good hit. I'll go walk for uh, sixty three. I'm going to have to use reload and to do the walk fire at least the locked on is going to apply to it Back in. that should be 53 plus the t for 83 uh, i definitely got that one oh well, you made it i'm so thrilled super annoyed by those wounds man Hey, under the circumstances, I can't complain. Oof, it's close. Just give me a couple more turns where I can get away with not being revealed here. I'm trusting you here. It's heavier than it looks. Shit. Thank God for that. Got a nice random gun here. Sergeant plus gunner gonna be shooting at us. Raya does not have slug shot, which would have been great. I think a stun on that dude is the play. God damn it, my pod activation letting me down again. Only 54%. Oh, clutch. are two nasty nasty enemies in fact the governor has to take that shot but then this sergeant can quite easily move up and shoot him a running gun here puts me nice and close onto the mech that's tempting the four to six I'm gonna take this shot because I mean I might even one tap from there. This is really cool. And then here I just need to do nine points of damage to take out the sergeant. Then it's only the heavy gunner, which of course is scary. I've got six hit points. He does half to nine. I don't have a better option here. Gonna be like a 50% chance that the gunner kills the Joker now. Oh, you're kidding me! I'm gonna give it. Oh, he fucking survives. Minimum fucking damage. Oh. As yeah, long as this doesn't crit, I should be okay.
Running gun's still not available. I think that's my best bet to get 13 damage onto this lad, but I'll get close enough. What's over there? That's a decent chance of killing him, but this is the lad that has got to go down. about the distance. It's simple. We uh, kill the freak. Only on the next turn can I do anything here with the uh, diamond. Thirty percent it's worth a try. Because I can run and gun in and do damage on the next turn. could hollow target him to take that up to a 60 which i think is a decent chance so here i would have to roll max and crit which is extremely unlikely whereas both barrels is 60 percent chance to hit and then 9 10 11 12 13 40 50, 60, 17 50 percent chance if it rolls to roll max damage oh god these whiff slads okay there's no damage from that action i'm very happy with that i just need a miss here now from the heavy gunner hit down on suppressed bitch. Take the stun here. You son of a bitch. Ten four. I got the package. What did you expect? Ammo out. Did we get another hollow holo target on this nerd. Out in the open is fine, he's not surviving this turn. Did he put himself flanked to my ranger? That is a bold strategy. I oh, know he's actually got high cover. I guess that'll be okay. Eighty-nine. Eighty-seven. So no pressure, Joker. But if you miss this, you die. Oof. Freak. Now, give me a couple of bullets. Yeah, I'm not happy with that. That was very messy. I mean, it, at least it was only my two assault troopers that took damage, but they really didn't need it to. Again, it's just my shit pod management. Bad. Oof. So for those of you who've been watching my previous campaigns, it, it must be pretty wild to see how I've become so much less conservative where like in previous campaigns I would never have even contemplated a mission like this. Okay. Assault troopers are going to be out for a little bit. For me, it's always got to be extra conditioning. Lyrium core, data pad is nice. Okay, that seems to be like the standard reward. Another turret wreck. Excellent. 
Okay, so I'm going to now see what kind of squad we can put together for the headquarters assault. Because I've already unlocked Predator Armor, the temptation for me now is to make a bunch of Predator Armors to send out on this Headquarters Assault mission. Setting forth for the West African Sector. West African Sector. Who's available from this high intelligence group? The Grenadier Sharpshooter, Ranger, Reaper, Gunner, Skirmisher. Uh, another Sharpshooter, I think, is a good idea. Is that two Sharpshooters? It is two Sharpshooters. There's a distinct lack of specialists, and there's one Gunner here now. So I want another Gunner, and then two specialists for healing and hacking. Um, I could maybe drop Scourge and take out another Ranger. Gremlin counters a weapon. Uh, okay, here's the other Mark II. So I need another Mark II Gremlin. Curses, no drone wreck. I think that's worth it if I take the skirmisher. He's going to be on the front line mixing things up. I reckon I might wait just until I've collected my supplies before sending this. We can pop into the black market, see what's there, see how that helps us. Uh, I'm actually tempted to take the battle scanner. I think I might just bond the Reaper and the Skirmisher together if I get the chance. Five hit points on Waldo. He's super important, so I'll give him the Predator Armor. Uh, I'm sure you can do better on that Mag Rifle. Uh, laser Sight, Advanced Hair Trigger. Scope. Advanced Auto. We will boost because I don't want to wait 24 days with these lads. And then the armor passing rounds, I think we will give to the sharpshooters. One sniper rifle has the elite stock, the other one has the elite laser. No, that's fine. Regular expanded mags. It's also fine, advanced, yep, scope. Hair trigger. Just kind of a mishmash of upgrades, whatever we've got. Okay, let's go scope, let's go hair trigger, let's go autoloader. Hacking, hacking. Extra hit points on the specialists. Smart macrophages here. They can't get poisoned, that's big. I'm going to leave the poison grenade behind. Just because I'm expecting to have to defend against the Chosen in these 16 days. 
Waldo, I mean, like, if I wait a day, we can have money to build a bunch of nanoscale vests. I'd much rather be building hazmat, but, you know, what can you do? The thing is, Calipe, he really needs the AP rounds. Oh, crap, his aim is... I could just throw suppressors on everybody just to try to get this arm down. Does anyone here desperately need a predator armor? I mean, yes, actually. Six is about as low as I'll go. So, Stobby needs predator armor. As does Nugget, that's two. New and then while we infiltrate this headquarters mission, we're gonna have to be super conservative with the other missions. Uh, nine hours, thanks for the heads up, boys. Ah, Madasa, excellent. I wanted her for the headquarters assault mission. If there are any elite weapon mods, I might actually buy them. Remember, we have the increased weapon mod item. Uh, mechs and depth perception are paying double. 24 supplies per mech is really nice. Sergeant Assault and a Sergeant Shinobi. That would be a great pair to pick up. ELS, hacking, unwavering stance. Advanced laser. I don't particularly feel like I desperately need either of these. And the supplies needs to go for the lab. And if anything, I think I need to get up to that magical 310 supplies. And to do that, I can sell my mech wrecks. Or I could use these supplies to build more predator armors for the headquarters assault. Setting course for West Africa. But I'm going to build a f and fully upgrade a lab. And that's almost ready to go. Well, I already paid for the lab, so I've got 160 I can spend. Predator armor. Predator armor. Hulkster. Modern. Wait, is the Hulkster low? Okay, in that case, then no, not Hulkster. Modern. Okay, wait a second. So we've got Grenadier Sharpshooter, those two are bonded. Um, Baldo doesn't have a technical to bond with. These two will bond. These two will bond. So these two bond. These two bond. So Waldo needs a technical to bond to. And I think I'm just going to have to bond him to Zap Brannigan. I mean, he's not high combat intelligence, but we don't even have a high combat intelligence uh, lad go. So now if I can get the gunner, average gunner, and average specialist, that's low specialist. Or I leave average, I leave these two behind and I take out ranger technical. So the specialist will do less because of Cypher, so he's got less of a chance to hack. Hmm, so it's a choice between Stobby and Sonar. Or between, oh, but you see, Zachariah is tired. Or I can send Sharpshooter Grenadier. It's the average Grenadier. 
Vitala. I think that's really good. I mean, the other grenade launcher surely is available. And I, yeah, I, th I think so. Two grenadiers in, well, it'll be middle July when we infiltrate with advanced frag grenades, sorry, with advanced grenade launcher with boosted needle grenades. I like that. what else to take on him. When in doubt, flashbang. Or smoke. I need some smoke. Uh, advanced, advanced, advanced. Now, Vita, there isn't another smart macrophages to give to you, is there? That's 69 aim, even with perception. That is crap. But I think what I'm going to do is I'll give him the depth perception, because that, that's plus 5 aim. He's almost always going to be shooting from heart advantage. And that also then is extra aim, and it mitigates a bit of dodge. I can't produce Mark II hollow targeters yet, I don't think. No, I can't. Mag shorties could come in useful. Uh, and how about a throwing knife? Improved throwing knife. Such a pity. I, I really, really wish I could have had um, needle a uh, needle rounds already. You know what? I can easily build another gas grenade. So we leave we leave one behind, and then yeah, the beetle. I can still throw two gas grenades. That could be clutch. And then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six regular frag grenades. Two of which are going to have four of which are going to have heat warheads. Seven hit points, I think, is, is plenty. Those are some nice hack numbers, even with Cypher being active. <clears throat> Eventually, the gunner will carry blue screen rounds. Not of interest if I were to start slapping. But there's an advanced scope. Like Madasa is using the wrong mag rifle, actually. I want that mag rifle. For you. It's two hours per advanced suppressor. It's not. I mean, like we get infiltrating for so long anyway. One thing that sucks about this is it, it means that they're only going to get XP from this in these 16 days. So it kind of slows down their leveling. Okay. Scourge, War Dragon, Bridge, the Lure Fog, Trumi, Governator, the Ranger, Odin, Nugget, and Rift. I was thinking I might be a little light on healing, only taking one specialist, but Rift isn't even that highly leveled yet, doesn't even have med protocol, and everybody else is carrying their own personal med kit. One last bit of thinking about what can I do here to increase survivability, I could just go nanoscale, because there's a couple of open spots here, I mean, why not, that, that could be the difference between life or death, as could that. As could that. I really wish these were hazmats instead, but we can upgrade these to hazmats later.
Okay, now I'm just faffing because I'm nervous of starting this mission. 34 baseline isn't that bad. Take a look at kind of uh, what weapons we have in the bag. There's one mag long rifle. I'm just thinking for purposes of running other missions, more realistically for defending the Haven. Two mag cannons, that's worth uh, remembering. the other gunner. Damn, don't have the other gunner. Only one man, only one mag rifle. Uh, there's loads of countries that are recruiting. I'll see if I can't throw bloody peasant into officer training. points or defense doesn't seem like it's worth it giving it to him yeah, set her off using just a regular old basic bitch sniper rifle a little scary We short a battle scanner. No. Okay, so all the countries where we are recruiting, we have battle scanners. assaults are wounded. Well, both of them. That's crazy. I've never been this late into a campaign and not had the improved uh, swords. These swords are usually such a crucial part of my early game. It's been really interesting not actually having them this time. So now... I could go to black market and buy two sergeant troops, uh, an assault and a shinobi, which I'm sorely, sorely tempted to do. Or I fully upgrade the lab. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten people available. I'll, I'll, I'll wait till the end of the month. I mean, I might be able to complete this HQ assault before the end of the mo month, and then I'll get supplies from that, which I can use to pay for those two troops. Righto. Oh, we, we're still looking for doable liberation missions in New Chile, or maybe a smash and grab or something. Could scan at Reaper HQ, but no, let's scan at New Chile. Setting course for Sector 4, Chile. So anyways, middle of July is obviously much later than I would have liked to do my first liberation mission. Uh, uh, I was told that you can just turn these down. You don't actually have to do that. You just get bodies and you get farm, basically. Reducing enemy strength, I think I have to go for. Project Miranda, that sucks. 
who do we have on station here? We have Levi. So then doing this faceless mission will be pretty good. And then we, I think we have to go straight into reducing enemy strength. It's going to make the assault easier. It's going to make everything easier. Okay. 40 minutes. Good little episode. Let's take a break. When we come back, let's uh, root out that faceless. Pull everybody out of Haven Advisory. Put a squad together for that uh, reducing enemy strength. And hope we can get that reducing enemy strength mission done before we have to defend against one of the chosen. We are sitting on 91 intel and 7 out of 7 contacts. So that intel I need to be very willing to spend. Especially if it means that I'm, like, I'm busy infiltrating on that reduce enemy strength mission. But I don't have enough days and I, like, I need to get that mission done to then use those troops to defend against the chosen. We may well end up doing that. I did say I wanted to throw someone into officer training. I mean, I'm going to want... Hmm. Do neither of them have any officer ability? They do not. Interesting. Okay, I think one of them needs to go out and one of them needs to be trained. All the gunners are wounded. That actually doesn't doesn't matter which one. PCS bonuses improved. No, it's, it's got to be the lab. Okay, thanks for watching, nerds. I'll see you tomorrow for your daily dose of Long War: The Chosen. And I've got to start a covert op. We'll do this one. It's just a sergeant can send Majid plus one. Okay, we've got some hard choices to make. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.